In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly max out your Paragon and Renegade scores in Mass Effect 1 using an OG conversation exploit on Novaria. This exploit still works in Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Keep watching to see how it just works. What's up everyone, Big Dan here. Before we begin, you should know I have over 150 Mass Effect Trilogy videos on my channel, including hidden scenes, rare choices, lore videos, and guides. So if you want to see more Mass Effect, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos. Without further ado, let's dive right in. As I mentioned at the top, this conversation exploit can be found on Novaria during your mission to track down Matriarch Benezia. At the beginning, you need to obtain a garage pass to leave Port Hanshan, which you can do in several ways. For our purposes, we want to follow the mission thread where Lorik Keen sends us to his office to obtain evidence of Analeas' corruption. Shortly after completing this task, Gianna Parasini will confront us and ask us to speak to her at the hotel bar. She'll then ask us to convince Lorik Keen to testify against Analeas for the executive board. During this conversation with Keen, we'll have charm and intimidate options to convince him to testify. Choosing these will award us with 24 Paragon or 25 Renegade points, respectively. I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Analeas. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeas' extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. If these executives don't blame Analeas for provoking this, they're fools. You should eat them. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Very well. I will testify. Here's where the exploit comes in. This conversation can actually be repeated over and over again. In order to trigger the dialogue again, simply speak to Lorik about another subject afterwards and you'll see the conversation, testify against Analeas, reappear. Now just go through the dialogue again and keep choosing charm and intimidate options to boost your Paragon and Renegade scores. Within just a few minutes, you should be able to max out both morality meters. This has a few benefits. First, you should be able to pass any speech check in the game with either Paragon or Renegade dialogue options, assuming you invest enough skill points into the Charm and Intimidate skills. You only need 8 points to pass most speech checks in the game, with the exception of Ethan Jong on Pharos. If that's the way it has to be, heck, come on, come on! Second, you'll be able to unlock both the Paragon and Renegade specific side missions in a single playthrough. These missions are UNC Besieged Base, and UNC The Negotiation. These missions unlock once you reach 80% in either Paragon or Renegade, or 90% if the opposite morality reaches 80% first. So basically, to unlock both missions in a single playthrough, you'll need to reach 80% in either Paragon and Renegade, and 90% in the other skill. Bubbles, bubbles, but when I touch them, I pop. One more thing to note, when you import your character into Mass Effect 2, it will most likely mark your character as Paragon even though both meters are fully maxed out. So if you're interested in getting the Renegade bonus in Mass Effect 2, then avoid fully maxing out your Paragon meter and leave it around 90% instead. So is this exploit considered cheating? Well that's really up to you. I typically don't utilize exploits like this in my own playthroughs because I like to see how difficult things are to achieve naturally as the developers intended. But again, this is a conversation exploit that never got patched out, so it's not like you're plugging in cheat codes or using a save editor to give yourself extra morality points. You're simply repeating conversations that already exist in the game. Nonetheless, it does feel like an oversight on Bioware's part, and I'm sure they didn't intend for players to break the balance of the morality system by recycling conversations in a single mission. So it's really up to you if you want to use the Lord Keen exploit or not. So there you have it. How to rapidly max out your Paragon and Renegade scores in Mass Effect 1 using the Lord Keen conversation exploit. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Mass Effect and RPG videos. I also have a bunch more Mass Effect videos, so why don't you check out another one, like this one I've linked on the screen. Shout out to all the channel members for supporting my content. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go.